Hello beautiful beings and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. This video is a beginner's guide to crystals. We're going to be learning how to use crystals, how to cleanse them, how to charge them and I'm going to be giving you my top 10 crystals for you to own. If you have any questions about the crystals I do or don't mention in this video or if you would like specific guidance on what crystal to use for something in particular, please drop your questions below in the comment box and I will get back to you with my guidance there. So let's begin. Crystals are a divine, magical, powerful, physical tool that we can use. We can utilise their healing properties, their energy and their frequency. Each crystal has their own frequency and each crystal has their own electromagnetic field. Their energy and their frequency doesn't just impact our physical bodies, it impacts all of our bodies. That's why when we look at crystal healing, it's not just about our physical body. They heal at a cellular level. They impact our physical, our emotional, our subtle, our energetic our astral bodies, everything. Also, they impact our sacred space, our environment, the space around us as well. So crystals are very powerful and they have been used for thousands of years, whether you're aware of that or not. So how can you use crystals? There are many ways that you can use crystals. And sometimes depending on why you are using a crystal, you'll use it for in a different way. So for example, if you are struggling to sleep, if you have insomnia, nightmares, for example, it would be beneficial to keep amethyst under your pillow or by the side of your bed. But if you're not suffering from that, you might not necessarily need to put a crystal under your pillow or beside your bed. You can if you want to, if it's for something else. For example, remembering your dreams, clear quartz, many ways you can use crystals. So let's let's begin. You can firstly, of course, use them in meditation, and that can be meditating at meditation beads, putting crystals around you on certain areas of your body as well, which is wonderful for clearing energy or any blockages. Womb healing, for example, moonstone on your sacred womb space there. If you're wanting to open your heart, you can put a crystal that is associated with your heart centre there. You can also use crystal grids as well. Crystals are wonderful for healing. So we've spoken briefly about crystal healing, but you can use them for that. So you can lay with crystals on specific areas of your body, around your body. If that's for physical healing and emotional, because of course, you know, you, you are all of these things, your emotional, your physical, your subtle, your energetic, it is you. So wearing crystals as well, you can wear them, earrings, necklaces. Certain crystals work best together um, and certain crystals you probably wouldn't put together. But for example, if you're wanting to, to be grounded, you would then wear a lot of uh, crystals that ground you and assist you with centering you. OK, so you can also use them in self-care routines. So you can have crystal face rollers, for example. You can have self-care baths and put rose quartz all around you, amongst other crystals as well, depending again what you want to focus on. Amethyst, if you want a clear mind and to have a better night's sleep. If you really want to enhance your divine feminine energy, there's moonstone you can put alongside uh, rose quartz and amethyst as well, actually. Crystals are also wonderful for new moon and full moon rituals. Fantastic for manifesting with, setting intentions with. Great for protection, for clearing the negative energy, for purifying the energy around you. You can charge your water with crystals as well. And of course, crystals can be used for connecting you to higher realms, enhancing your intuition and connecting the communication to higher realms. 
enhancing your intuition there, your psychic abilities. Also, if you're going through a big transformation, heartache or anything like that, your emotional state, your emotional body, crystals can assist you with all of those things. They can assist you with so much. So the healing is physical pain, emotional troubles, stability, all different things like that. So how do you charge your crystals? I always charge my crystals on my windowsill um, of the of the evening of the night of a full moon. I would really recommend that. You can charge your crystals in the sun. Some prefer not to be charged in the sun. So have a little research into what crystals benefit from being charged in the sun, but all benefit from being in the moon. So you can charge your crystals once a month under the full moon on your windowsill. Whenever you purchase a new crystal, I would always recommend you you sage them so you cleanse them. I use sage. There are other ways you can cleanse them. You could even use paleo santo wood, but I really do recommend saging your crystals just to remove all energy from that crystal. So then it can can work for you. So it's not holding on to any energy from a previous space or a previous person it has been with, even handled by. I would also recommend cleansing your crystals, not necessarily regularly, but say if you've been using a specific crystal and it's really been assisting you with any feelings of turmoil, big changes and transformation you've been going through and you're now free from that that cycle, from that period of your life, cleanse that crystal from that energy. So now I'm going to be talking to you about my top 10 crystals to own. The first crystal on my must own list of crystals is purple amethyst. This divine, powerful crystal has such incredible properties and amazing healing properties also. It is associated with the third eye and crown chakra. And it is also associated to the zodiac sign Aquarius. It is the birthstone of Aquarius. This crystal is amazing for calming the mind, for soothing irritability, to protecting you from nightmares. So it's wonderful if you're suffering from insomnia. So put a piece of this under your pillow or beside your bed. And you're guaranteed to get a much better sleep. Alongside that, if you're suffering from anxiety and stress, this crystal has amazing properties to assist you with those feelings, that energy. It promotes balance. It's a tranquilizer. It's a cleanser. It's a detoxifier. And it's also a wonderful protection crystal. So protecting you from nightmares, from negative energy giving you balance, soothing your mood, calming your mind. Alongside that, because of the connection to the higher chakras, this crystal is incredible at strengthening your intuition. It is a must-own crystal if you meditate regularly as well. It allows you to tap into higher levels of consciousness, have a stronger connection and communication with the higher realms. Such a divine crystal. I think possibly my favourite crystal. It is also wonderful for setting intentions and manifesting with, which is why it is on the top of my manifestation crystal because of the ability to connect to higher realms and higher levels of consciousness, assisting you to visualize, strengthening your intuition, giving you that clarity and insight, it is a perfect crystal for manifesting with. Next up, we have selenite. Selenite is such a beautiful crystal. Oh, its energy is incredible. Selenite is often associated with the third eye chakra, the crown chakra, your soul star and the zodiac sign Taurus. The energy 
that selenite holds. Oh, it's so peaceful, so calm. Selenite can assist in cleansing and clearing your aura. It removes blocks or any stagnant energy. It's incredibly healing for the physical body, but also for your emotions as well, the emotional body. It stabilizes your emotions. So if you're in a state of stress, despair, grief or anything like this, it's very good at assisting to stabilize how you're feeling. As well as the peace and calmness it brings, it also brings clarity as well, mental clarity, which is why it's wonderful to meditate with, to have in your sacred space. It holds a lot of light, this crystal, a lot of purity, which is why it is also amazing for assisting you with connecting to the angelic realm. Next up, we have black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is associated with the root chakra and because of this it is a very grounding crystal. It assists in centering you, it has a very powerful protective energy. It detoxifies the physical body. It helps remove fear as well clearing and protecting the aura, very purifying, very purifying. It's also known to be very good for uh, joint pain, the nerves as well. And it's great for helping you feel more secure and stable again because of the association to the root chakra. It is also an EMF absorber as well. So I have a couple of pieces near my Wi-Fi router near my TV, and I also wear it daily, my black tourmaline bracelet with a golden sheen these crystal beads have in them, they're divine. It's a beautiful crystal and it is honestly incredible for, for grounding you. So again, a wonderful crystal for meditating with. Of course, Rose Quartz was going to make it into the top 10 <laughs> crystals to own. The Universal Love Crystal. And of course, because of this, it is associated with your heart center. It is also associated with the zodiac sign Taurus. This crystal really embodies the divine feminine energy, which is why it is on my goddess um, energy candle here along with moonstone and amethyst. Of course, rose quartz is fantastic for love, but not just romantic relationships. It's also fantastic for self-love, love on all levels. It has a very calming, loving, soothing energy. Wonderful if you're feeling stressed, if you suffer from jealousy. It will really assist you with that. And it holds such beauty. I really feel like it assists you in seeing the beauty in everything and sharing the love from your heart center. It is wonderful for self-care. Self-care baths, if you use crystals in your self-care baths, wonderful for, for everything like that. So yeah, definitely a must-own crystal, definitely. Wonderful at attra for attracting love as well because it assists in emitting love. And again, that isn't just romantic, you know, love isn't limited to our romantic relationships, it's so much more than that. So love in all areas, love in all relationships and love for yourself. The next crystal is opalite and opalite is so interesting to look at because depending where the light is shining through it, it depends what colours you see. It's really beautiful. Opalite is associated with the heart, third eye and crown chakra. It is also associated with the zodiac sign cancer. It is incredible at enhancing psychic abilities 
and improving communication, not just in the physical realm, but in the astral realms as well. It has a divine, calming, really soothing, delicate energy almost, and it brings a great deal of reassurance to your emotional state when needed. It also, regarding the the heart chakra that I mentioned, the heart center, it is incredible at protecting your heart, protecting your heart center and giving you strength there for any heartache or heartbreak you may be feeling. It assists in giving you a feeling of safety in situations along as that reassurance as well. So yeah, it's definitely on my must-own crystal list. Next we have a Labradite. Oh, I love it so much. And you get glimmers of that. Again, it's one of these crystals that dependent where the light hits. Wow. Incredible. So... This crystal is associated with the third eye chakra. I really love third eye chakra crystals, right? (laughs) Very powerful stone again. It is also associated with quite a few zodiac signs. So Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Again, it's not limited to the use of just these zodiac signs. Look at that. Wow. Because, of course, we have um, in our natal chart, it's likely that we have planets in many different signs. So we can always benefit from the energy and frequency of all crystals. This crystal is incredible at expelling negative energy and protecting you. It's great to use with manifesting because of the connection to the higher realms there and how magical it is. It's really wonderful at protecting your aura as well. It's a great transformation crystal. So if you're going for a big transformation, this is probably one of the crystals that you you want to to purchase, invest in. Because the association with uh, the higher chakras there, it is great again at bringing clarity, insights, strengthening your intuition and your connection to source. I remember when I first got this crystal at the beginning of my spiritual awakening, shall we say. I have lots of little pieces, but I wanted to show this one. Whenever I was near it, I mean, you know, I cleansed it. So whenever you purchase crystals, you know, ensure you cleanse them, sage them, etc. But whenever I was near it, let alone holding it, I would get so much pressure in my third eye. It was insane, insane. So it's definitely very active. Look at that. Very activating to your third eye. (laughs) Just obsessed with how beautiful and divine it is. The next crystal is Moonstone, and Moonstone really embodies and holds the divine feminine energy, which is why it's the second tumbler on my goddess energy candle. It is often associated with the zodiac sign, Gemini, and because of the association here with the divine feminine energy, the feminine energy that it just oozes and holds... It's wonderful for fertility and hormone balance. Also wonderful um, just getting those creative juices flowing. And of course, you know, the, the feminine energy is very creating. It's a creator, creative energy. It is also amazing um, with the higher chakras. So when I'm channeling, I love moonstone because it really enhances psychic abilities and your intuition because of the link there with the higher chakras and the divine feminine energy. It is beautiful to use with love as well, your heart center. So it's associated to so much moonstone and you'll find that like each piece is is a bit different, you know, even this one here. So you can get so many pieces of moonstone this crystal always looks different it's very unique and I just love this piece so much but yes and also it's got a a beautiful loving and compassionate energy 
And you can really feel it. You can really feel that, that compassion, that love. Yeah, that, that feminine energy here. So wonderful if you're working with your feminine energy, wanting to be more creative. If you want to balance your hormones, release your um, goddess energy, great for fertility, your intuition as well, and, and balancing, yeah, your hormones, your emotions, everything. The next crystal on my list is Tiger's Eye. Isn't it beautiful, the colour? Tiger's eye is associated with the root, solar plexus and third eye chakra. It is very good for grounding and centering because of the association to the root chakra there. It brings a great deal of mental clarity. It is very powerful. When I wear these meditation beads, I really feel it really feel the energy in my third eye and I actually can't wear them for very long because it can be incredibly intense. It's a very powerful crystal. It is of course wonderful for, for focusing that mental clarity, so assisting you in focusing. It is known to bring you courage and strength and willpower, allowing you to harness that inner strength, that inner courage, which is why it is often associated with the zodiac sign Leo. Alongside all of this, it is known as well to bring you good luck. And it's very good, actually, at balancing your energy. Next, we have Malachite. Oh, Malachite is so stunning. I can't wait to have a big piece of raw Malachite. I just have lots of tumblers at the moment, but even so, look at the individual marks and swirls on Malachite. The most divine colour. So beautiful and so unique. So, Malachite is associated with the heart, which is why I really wanted to mention this crystal, because in the time that we are in, focusing on our heart centre, opening our heart centre and focusing on love is incredibly important at the moment, because we're returning to that love consciousness. So, I really wanted to mention that. Look at these. Wow. It is often associated with the zodiac sign Taurus. It is incredible uh, opening your heart centre, really focusing on the love there, allowing you to love yourself and others, opening that centre. It is wonderful at assisting in healing trauma. It absorbs negative energy. It really clears energy fields as well and chakras. So again, it's great for transformation and it assists in bringing positive change. So not only is it a beautiful crystal to look at, and please do if you're, you're thinking of buying some Malachite, look at the raw Malachite as well. Oh, it's just so incredible. So not only is it so stunning and so beautiful as all crystals are, but it has a really beautiful healing and loving energy. The last crystal I wanted to mention to you is clear quartz. I don't have any big pieces of clear quartz to show you. I just have a clear quartz pendulum and pendant, which are both divine. And I will in the future have a very big piece of clear quartz very soon, hopefully. Clear quartz is known as a master crystal or a master healer. It absorbs energy absorbs negative energy and it amplifies positive energy. It is very powerful. It is fantastic in assisting you in remembering things. So for example, if you wanted to remember a dream, very powerful to use with things like that or something you've forgotten. It is associated with the crown chakra. So it is brilliant at enhancing your intuition, enhancing your psychic abilities. It assists you in connecting to your higher self, 
tapping into high levels of consciousness, connecting you to source, connecting you to higher realms. It's very powerful to use. And it is a very important, powerful, healing, beautiful, divine, magical crystal to own. So thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to be doing further videos on crystals, so expect more to come and please hit subscribe so you don't miss out on these future videos. And like I said, if you have a question about anything I've mentioned or if you would like a recommendation on a crystal to use for something in particular, any questions at all, please drop them in the comment section and I will be sure to answer your questions and queries all about crystals and their magic. Namaste, beautiful being.